These machines are moving more than dirt. They're moving jobs, too. And entry-level engineers here rake in 65000 bucks a year. Companies from Caterpillar to Google are on the hunt for engineers. You were an engineering major here. Yes. And yes. then what? Um, I was struggling in the program, so I, I decided to study something different. And right now, I'm majoring in public relation advertising. Here at the City College of New York, only 35% of students who enter the engineering school graduate as engineers. With 9% unemployment and companies desperate to hire engineers, you'd think undergrads would be lining up to major in the sciences. But few are, and many who do are quitting them. I needed to raise my GPA to stay in the school, and that's what I did, so I, I, I left. But Alina Sabanska has dreamed of being a scientist since she was a young girl. About two-thirds drop out. That was actually my experience with my friends. Three of us started together as freshmen, two of them switched out of the major. But City College isn't alone. It's a national phenomenon. 22% of students choose a STEM major, that science, technology, engineering, or math, at some point in their college career. But only 14% finish school in a STEM major. After the just finishing the assignments, you have to put in extra work, so it's like maybe eight hours a day extra. Outside of the classroom? Yeah. I think that a lot of students don't realize how much work is required to really become an engineer. Academicians and professors can do also a better job of making that, making the case that this is something that you want to do. Programs where students build things, like human-powered vehicles, are part of the school's efforts to keep them from abandoning the major. The idea is to make it go fast, also uh, transport um, cargo. But many say they enter college ill-prepared. In high school, I took a lot of calculus and uh, physics and uh, chemistry courses, so it was something I was interested in. And uh, throughout my, my first couple semesters, I was struggling with the math and sciences. But here at Columbia, 96% of students that enter engineering graduate as engineers. I believe, and a lot of people in our school believe, that engineering is the liberal arts of the 21st century. The engineering dean at Columbia University attributes its success to a more practical approach. When you go to school and all you see is uh, differential equations and you don't see the application of that differential equation of the Fourier transform into a real application of a bridge or a, a building, you start losing interest. We try to keep them engaged on seeing the application both from the impacts to society that they can make and well as their own satisfaction. I want to work in the um, nuclear industry. Why spend so much time studying? Is it worth it? It is worth it. Why? Um, because you become more well-rounded. You look at the world differently. In New York, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.